Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I have something really fun to look at today. Courtesy of Collecticon Toys, where I was able to pick this figure up, we are taking a look at the Rise of the Beasts Beast Battle Master Optimus Primal. That's a big mouthful right there. It's a good thing this figure isn't part of the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, or you know, we'll have a lot of bees going the Beasts. Buzzworthy Bumblebee Rise of the Beasts. Beast Battle Master. But anyway, uh, this, much like the other Battle Masters in the Rise of the Beast line, is a version of Optimus Primal that turns into a weapon. In this case, it turns into a uh, blaster cannon. Um, I, as of this filming, somebody did start finding these in Target, so that's a good thing. But what's really cool about this figure is not only can you sit, can you pose the figure on all fours, like a traditional uh, silverback gorilla, they were able to work the proper back curvature in, instead of just having a flat back. So this is kind of cool. Also, there is enough play in the head that you can have it angled up that Optimus Primal is looking forward. Now let's take a quick look at that head. And... Not easy to see, but there are some nice painted blue eyes right there. Other than that, you see the silver detailing for the weapon parts. So, there is ball joints in the arms here and the shoulders. So if you want, as Primal comes packaged, you can have it stand up. That's a nice feature, too. I, I, I'm glad I remembered to mention that. So, for the transformation, rotate the head around. I like to fold the head down a little so it's like the chin is flush with the back. Um, come in here, bring the chest up, just like so, and then bring the waist out and down. And then what you want to do is come into the arms, flip out what will be the barrels of the gun. And now this is going to be kind of tricky because some of the joints are tight. You want to fold the arms flush so that the slot right there goes into the tab on the side of the waist, just like so. And you want to use your finger to help push the uh, ball joint and the shoulder in flush. Do it again on this side. Use that finger. And, oh, there you go. So, oh, that went in, like, much easier than I expected. And it will peg in there, but then the barrels will peg together. So to finish it off, Fold up the uh, the feet just like that. Now there are some tabs here that I really don't know what they're supposed to do. They do not tab into the feet. It's just like there's like nothing really to tab the feet into, and you're not supposed to turn them out to the side or anything. Not that you could, but you have a very nice blaster. It would have been nice if it was double barrel, like his, like Optimus Primal's like wrist guns, but yeah, there is that. So let's go ahead and bring one of the uh, weaponizers in. And <laughs> excuse me as I adjust the camera. Here's Optimus Primal himself. So we're gonna have Optimus Primal very nicely holding. Optimus Primal, who's already holding Rhinox. So it's an Optimus Primal. Inception. Oh, yeah. Um, really fun, cool figure. I actually like the look of the weapon mode. Um, it does, I think, enough to cover the beast part of it that it actually can be used as a believable blaster. And, you know, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned this when I was... Uh, reviewing Skull Cruncher, but some of the battle changers, um, Optimus Prime can't hold it because it makes him off balance. Bumblebee and, uh, and Mirage do not have the molded fist holes. Rhinox has a molded fist hole, and because of the way the legs are designed, you have to position them just right, but uh, there's enough of a heel there that balance-wise, it can hold one of the uh, battle masters. So just keep playing along there in case you want to use uh, not just rely on these uh, weaponizer figures, but of course you can also give these uh, battle masters to the deluxes and voyagers and what have you. Um, you know, it's it's all up to you. 
I, I'm looking now at Optimus Prime and Scourge, the uh, Smash Changers, and unfortunately, the pegs aren't long enough to, to get past the front grills, so they wouldn't be able to hold them. So that, that's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? So how about we pause right now, and I'll come back with my final thoughts. God, I have this in like a four and a half zoom just to get in there. But yeah, I really dig this Optimus Primal uh, Battle Master. I think it's a lot of fun. And that's a good thing because a lot of these figures from Rise of the Beast, they're just fun. And I think you'll enjoy it. So definitely uh, pick it up. But with with a caveat, as we've started to see with the Wave 2 Weaponizer 2 packs, it appears that the single-packed Battle Masters are getting repainted and packaged with the Wave 2 figures. So, we know Wheeljack is coming with Rhinox, and RC is coming with Cheetor. I don't know if there's going to be... A, oh, and I think also the third figure in Wave 2 is going to be... Uh, oh, no, you know what? No, that's that's a that's a beast armor. So right now there's only two weaponizers, Wheeljack and RC. I don't know if they're going to reveal a third figure. Maybe that Scorponok figure might count as the third figure of the wave. I don't know. But if if you don't see a figure, and but seeing as how Optimus Primal is part of the Wave Two single releases, I think if there is going to be a Wave Three of the weaponizers. You might see Optimus Primal repainted for that. Now, personally, I don't mind. I'll double dip because it'll be kind of interesting to see what they do with a Primal here and how they would change the color. But for some of you, you might only want one version of Primal. And in that regard, I would recommend waiting to see if there's going to be uh, another weapon wave of Weaponizer 2-packs that's going to include Prime. But, now, as I said, I got this figure from Collecticon Toys. As of this recording, it has been spotted and purchased at Target. That means it might be coming to your Target sooner than later, as well as other retailers. Again, a little caveat. Online retailers like Amazon are kind of slow to putting up um, the kid-friendly toys there aren't big announcements for it. Also, as we've seen, they tend to still use the code names for them. So it might be a little hard to find. And then with stores like Target and Walmart, their focus is going to be on the in-store experience and stocking those shelves and filling orders there first than anything online. So it might be a little while, if at all, before you see Optimus Primal or some of these uh, newer uh, Rise of the Beast figures, Beast Alliance figures, um, being available from those online channels. So my advice would be keep an eye out in stores, and let's use the buddy system. If somebody finds Optimus Primal, don't post it publicly because there's a chance you might tip off some scalpers, but go to your friends who are collectors who might be interested, and that might help the situation. Well, that's it for the review. If you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. If I have a Patreon, if you want to really support the channel, it's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like this to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel. But, as I always say, I know times are tough. If you can't swing the Patreon, don't worry about it. Your views are more than thanks enough. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. So this is your old once again, this is your old pal Chuck for Battlemaster Optimus Primal. We will see you next time.